Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing yet another Arch Linux based distribution. The distro I'm reviewing today is called Chakra Linux. Chakra Linux is interesting for an Arch based Linux distro. It has a very strong emphasis on the KDE desktop environment and the Qt uh, toolkit, Qt technologies. It is also unique in that it doesn't follow the traditional rolling release model that Arch Linux and most Arch Linux based distros follow. It has its own unique half rolling release model. What is half rolling release? Well, as the name suggests, you know, the core components of your system, the really critical components of your system, they're not on a rolling release model. They will be updated periodically, they're, but they're not on the bleeding edge. But, you know, all your standard applications that sit on top of that core system, they are on the rolling release model. Okay, so I downloaded the ISO and I'm going to install Chakra today inside a virtual machine. I'm going to be using VirtualBox. And initially you're presented with this menu, Start Chakra Live. Start with the non-free drivers. Oh, I guess I don't get to read through the entire menu. I took too long and it automatically is going to boot us into the live environment, but that's what I was going to do anyway. on a lot of those initial startup screens uh, if you don't choose something within about 10 seconds it automatically just loads you into the live desktop so I messed that up oh well we're going with it yeah it's taking a bit of time for this live environment to to boot up I've waited a, about a minute now it looks like it's about done though alright looks like we're finally getting into the live environment still loading though still waiting okay and now we are inside the live environment here this is of course the KDE desktop and we have our little screen here at the top let's see thanks for trying out our latest ISO hopefully you will take the time to read this quick overview of what Chakra is what it is trying to achieve what it is not and what is not done yet uh, good advice. I should probably read some of the documentation. Uh, I'm not going to do that though, certainly not on this video. I'm going to click Install Chakra. Alright, now our, our installer, a familiar installer, I believe this might be the Calamares installer. Uh, I've seen this installer in actually quite a few Arch Linux based distros recently. Anyway, English is our chosen language here. Uh, time zone. It has me in London, Europe. Yeah, that's not correct. I'm going to go, go to America. Uh, Chicago is in the central time zone. All right. Keyboard. It has chosen our default keyboard correctly. English, U.S. I will do a quick test here in this field to make sure the keyboard is working right. It is. Partitioning, I'm going to erase the disk. I'm going to let Chakra Linux have the entire 15 gig hard drive of this virtual machine I created. So I don't need to do any manual partitioning. For those of you that are dual booting with other operating systems such as Windows, you may have to do some partitioning. Now we choose our username. I'm just going to choose Chakra as my username for this video. We need to choose a user password. Log in automatically without asking for a password. They have that ticked on by default. I'm going to tick that off. I want to be asked for a password when I log in. I don't like automatically logging in without a password for privacy reasons. Uh, and I don't recommend you guys ever do that too. Unless you have a machine you know you're the only one that will ever have access to that machine. Require it to ask you for a password. Use the same password for the admin account. Yeah, I'm okay with that. So. All right, then we have a look, a little summary here. Location, keyboard, partitioning, all this looks correct. Yeah, I'm gonna choose next. And then it's gonna go ahead and format the drive and install the system. I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, guys, the installation has completed. I need to restart the machine. That installation took a few minutes, it wasn't too long. Uh, maybe six minutes, eight minutes, I don't know. It wasn't, wasn't a bad install. Let me reboot the machine. Alright, and we're now booting up our freshly installed Chakra Linux. See how long boot up time takes. 
Wow, looks like we're going to get to a login manager really fast. That was ex exceptionally quick, really. Let me log in to the KDE desktop environment here. It may take a second for the KDE desktop environment to load since this is the very first time we're launching it. A lot of times the very first time you launch a desktop environment it takes a little longer than it normally would. Okay guys, uh, this is Chakra Linux. This is KDE. The desktop environment is KDE. That is the only desktop environment they offer on their ISO. Again, it, it, it started life mainly as a KDE and a QT project, if you will, you know, built around Arch, and eventually they ended up basically building their own distribution, having their own release model, having their own repos, their own packages. That's another thing I should mention. Uh, it's not compatible with Arch Linux. You're not going to be able to use the Arch repos or anything like that. They have their own repos their own packages let me pull up this little uh, from their wiki the chakra wiki uh, spar system management they are currently using pacman you know the arch pacman package manager but they are in the process of building their own custom built package manager named akabe i'm assuming is how you pronounce that and shaman which will be a gui front end to akabe it is not ready yet apparently but they are building their own package manager manager uh, further down the list here the chakra use the arch linux repos no mixing them will break your system so you must use the chakra repos you cannot mix arch and chakra repos can i change from arch linux to chakra by editing the pacman.com file no doing so will probably break your system can i mix chakra and arch linux packages no doing so will probably break your system. Can I use the AUR in Chakra, the Arch user repository, which is one of the big selling points for someone using Arch Linux? No. So you can't use the AUR in Chakra. Can I get support for Chakra in Arch Linux support channels? And of course you can't do that either. So let me go through the default installed programs on Chakra. So I'm going to go to applications here and then I'm just going to go through the categories under the chakra category we have our bug tracking system we have chakra code archive chakra documentation donations for chakra the chakra forms the chakra web page chakra package change logs so that's pretty cool uh, development probably have a bunch of QT stuff in the development being you know built mainly for the KDE desktop and the Qt toolkit and yeah, and this is mainly for program uh, developers. Under graphics, we have the Ocular Document Viewer, KDE's Document Viewer. We have WinView, which is KDE's Image Viewer. We have Color Paint, which is a paint program, and we have Carbon, which is for uh, scalable graphics. That's an interesting choice there. If you want to do have a scalable uh, graphics program, why not just install Inkscape? You know, uh, Internet. Let's see, we have the Download Manager, KGIT. We have Aggregate Aggregator, which is a feed reader. It's your standard RSS news reader. Pretty neat little program. Uh, also under Internet, we have IM Contacts, Instant Messenger Contacts. We have our Conversation IRC Client, that's KDE's IRC Client. We have the KDE Instant Messenger Log Viewer. We have Kmail, which is our email client. Knet Attach, which is the network folder wizard. We have Civ Editor. And then for our web browser, we have Cupzilla. Cupzilla is uh, a web browser that was created mainly to be built on the Qt toolkit. So it makes sense for Shopper to be using Cupzilla. Under multimedia, we have the Clementine Music Player, which is a fantastic audio player. Uh, a lot of standard KDE desktops use the Amarok uh, player because it is one of the KDE apps, but they're using Clementine. But Clementine works well in the KDE desktop environment too because it is also a QT app. Also under multimedia, we have the K3B disk burning software, great disk burner. 
We have Firewire Audio Mixer. We have the Bomi Media Player. I'm actually not familiar with that media player. Let me launch it. Looks like a standard, you know, video player. Not exactly sure why they chose that particular program. But, you know, there's a million audio and video players out there in Linux. And we have Kaden Live, which is a video editor. Really good video editor, actually. Under Office, we have Contact Manager, our Ocular Document Viewer again, Kmail again, Contact again, uh, K Organizer, we have some project management stuff, and uh, we have Caligra Sheets, which is a spreadsheet program, and Caligra Words, which is our word processor. Interesting that they went with Caligra over LibreOffice, but it may have to do with the uh, whole trying to keep with QT programs. I'm assuming Caligra is probably QT is why they chose it over LibreOffice. That would really be the only reason I think anyone would choose Caligra over LibreOffice. Under settings we have you know our system settings here which is the brings up the KDE system settings. We'll come back to this in a second. Also under applications under system we have Octopi which is our graphical way of add and removing software. Let me launch this so if I wanted to uh, you know update the system right now I could do this in Octopi very standard you know uh, graphical way of adding and removing software I'm not gonna run any kind of update on this because it may be a very large update the ISO was not very old I, it was less than two months old this ISO of Chakra so it shouldn't be too bad especially since it's a half rolling release model so it, it's not gonna update every program on the system the core components are probably not moving. And then we have our drop down terminal. We have the Dolphin file manager, the standard file manager in KDE, an excellent file manager. Probably one of the best that Linux has available. One of the real highlights to the KDE desktop environment actually is the Dolphin file manager. We have Info Center, we have Input Method, we have the CUPS uh, printing uh, interface for your print drivers. Uh, some more Octopi stuff, a partition editor, which most of you will never need to, to do. Uh, system monitor, let's check out the system monitor. The system load, I'm giving this virtual machine two CPUs. I have a six CPU machine, my main machine, but I'm only giving this virtual machine two cores. And it is using actually not much CPU power at all, really. Memory, uh, 0.62 gigs of 5.7 gigs. That's that's really good for KDE, uh, and actually that's a lot better than I, I typically get when I run the GNOME 3 desktop. The GNOME 3 desktop really has become kind of a memory hog uh, every time I check it. But KDE is doing a lot better these days. The Plasma desktop, I mean, for a really you know graphical desktop with a lot of graphical goodness. Uh, KDE is actually not bad, pretty light actually. Alright, also in the menu we also have our utilities category where we have Kate, which is KDE's text editor. Just a standard text editor, but a really nice one. Also under utilities we have our archiving tool, which is called ARC. We have find files and folders, KFind. Uh, we have the Kmail import wizard, we have Knotes, which is a note taking app, we have Kcalc, which is our uh, scientific calculator, Spectacle, which is the screenshot utility, we have Vim, which is a terminal based text editor, um, we have our USB key writer, which is the SUSE Studio image writer, and that is it for the applications installed by default, pretty good suite of apps. I'm going to right click on the desktop. I'm going to choose configure desktop. Let's see what kind of wallpapers are shipping by default with Chakra. Alright, looks like they have a really nice collection of wallpapers installed by default. Now some of these I've seen before on other distros. I don't know if these are some of the ones that ship by default with the KDE desktop or if Chakra's adding them themselves, but I recognize quite a few of these wallpapers. I'm going to choose one just to change the wallpaper. Yeah, that's really nice. I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go back to the menu here. I'm going to go to settings 
and choose system settings to get back into the KDE system settings again and the first one is workspace theme let's see which themes are installed by default chakra by default is using the heritage theme which is a nice looking theme here is dolphin opened up again using the heritage theme uh, they also have the breeze theme installed breeze is one of the default KDE themes really really nice looking theme actually that that light breeze theme looks well against the darker wallpaper I'm using they also have the breeze dark theme installed by default yeah that looks really good too I'm going to go back to the light theme since I'm using a darker wallpaper really like that alright a closed dolphin and back to system settings we have options to change colors fonts icons not sure if they have any icon themes installed by default it looks like the default KDE icon sets the breeze icon set and the oxygen icon set so and we have options for desktop behavior window management shortcuts startup and shutdown startup and shutdown this is where you can edit uh, you know the login screen your auto start programs you know when you first log into KDE what launches on auto start any kind of background services that are running that sort of thing um, then we have you know personalization stuff you know for account details region accessibility backups online accounts some network stuff some hardware stuff you know for uh, displays printing removable storage I'm going to open up a terminal which in the KDE desktop environment the default terminal is called console with a K it's actually right here in the favorites in the uh, little KDE menu and since they're using the pacman package manager I'm assuming I can update the system with sudo pacman dot capital S and then lowercase y lowercase u it's gonna ask me for my administrator password alright let's see what kind of updates we have available here okay that actually was not very many it looked like I, I got some errors here it's warning me that some of the local files are newer than the core so let me run a different command instead of sudo pacman dash capital S Y U I'm gonna do dash capital S Y U U and we may update some mirrors here oh yeah and now we get to updating the system this may take a while anyway I just wanted to verify that Pac-Man is the package manager uh, again they are working on their own custom package manager called Akabe and Shaman because they do not use the arch repos I'm still getting some errors here in the install or in the uh, update here but anyway I'll let that run and do its thing what do I think about Chakra Linux well I think the install super simple install gets an A the desktop standard KDE gets an A uh, stability you know I, obviously I can't comment on that this is just a first impression install and review but being a half rolling model meaning they're not going to update you know critical core components of the system you know on a rolling release model they'll do it periodically for stable updates but you know the really core critical components of your Linux system so I'm assuming stuff like the kernel the init system the display server you know that's not rolling release model because if you experience breakages with critical uh, programs like that you know it's gonna break your system it's gonna be it's gonna make for a very bad day so I really like that they're doing the half rolling release model the only thing by them doing that they're no longer arch compatible you can't use the arch repos you can't use the arch user repository that is the only negative but if you want a quasi you know pseudo rolling release model distro that uses the KDE desktop environment Chakra Linux looks like it is a solid choice check it out guys peace